Okay. What kind of people come out on a Sunday night? What kind of people come out at 9.15? Is it 9.15? I don't know. 9.30? Sorry. All right. Well, there's 15 minutes out of the way already. <laughs> Just footage of you waiting outside going, what the fuck? You know what? I have a job. I have to go to work tomorrow. Yes, you do, don't you? What kind of people try to extract the last bit of fun out of a Sunday evening knowing full well tomorrow? I don't know why I'm looking at you, but you got that look of someone who's still pissed off about beta. <laughs> tomorrow you'll go back, you look like you work in some sort of cubicle somewhere, stacked over a big hunk of paper in an office with all the ambience of a fucking minicab pickup place. <laughs> Some sheep herder's fucking boss with a comb over breathing down your neck. Am I right? Have I nailed it so far? You're damn right I have. Just play along and pretend I know what I'm talking about, all right? I'm crying out loud. Maybe I picked the wrong man. What do you do? I'm a musician. Oh, good for you. Good. Tune this son of a bitch, will you? Tune it. Just tune it. I'm making a DVD. I'm making a DVD. What do you play, my friend? Ukulele. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that is not a musician. <laughs> My son has a ukulele. He's 22 months old. <laughs> Grow up, for fuck's sake. Look, see that? See that? That's a big guitar. That's a big guitar. That's, is that too much for you? I opened for a ukulele orchestra on the fucking Isle of Wight. <laughs> the island that fun forgot. <laughs> a ukulele orchestra. And then they just stared at me. Any place in this country that begins with a W is going to be a shithole. That's what I've learned about this. <laughs> Wolverhampton. Isle of Wight. White Haven. White. White, white, white. If it's white, it's shit. It's just, they just stared at me. They stared at me like I was a opening to a Starbucks or something. <laughs> no fucking sense of humor. None. Just stared at me like, is this supposed to be funny? Is he? That ukulele orchestra rocked. <laughs> this guy doing? And they just stared at me. I did. Finally, I just said, you know, fuck you. Now I know why Jimi Hendrix just left this place and killed himself. Fuck you, good night. <laughs> so I'm not going back to the Isle of Wight. But there are many, many places in Britain that are fantastic, that you probably played them all as a, as a ukulele maestro, <laughs> as the, the Hendrix of ukulele players. I'm from Wilsden. From, wh from where? Wilsden. Wilsden. Sounds like a wonderful place. <laughs> Are you a solo? You one of these guys who, who left a hardcore ukulele band and went off on your own? Yeah, just subways and <laughs> subways. <laughs> what kind of you playing the subway? Jesus Christ! On a ukulele, you have to sit there in the subway. Someday, I might play the Isle of Wight, but today. I'm in a fucking subway underneath a park. <laughs> All right. Anyway, to get back to my point, there you are at the World Ukulele office with a shitload of paperwork <laughs> and four string cords and inversions, and your boss is breathing down your neck. This isn't going to work at all, is it? <laughs> and then we all feel better. So I highly recommend it. Who else is married here? Are you married to a uke boy? <laughs> what do you really do? No, I'm, I'm not buying the ukulele thing. I'm a bad harmonica player. Oh, harmonica as well. Ooh. Did you just sit down and look at every fucking annoying instrument on the planet? <laughs> Probably saving up for some fucking bagpipes right now, aren't you? <laughs> what do you see in this guy? Can we just back up for a minute? What charmed you about this fella? He likes my cats. He likes your cow? My cat. Oh, your cat. <laughs> So he's, ju he's just using you to get to your cat. <laughs> I just don't understand modern relationships. I think there's nothing about sacrifice and, and love and no, 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 he likes my cat. <laughs> I don't, I'm not buying it, but I think you're in some sort of government witness relocation program. <laughs> And we got caught out on the front row with a fucking camera still. I play harp and ukulele in the subway. He likes my cat. Escobar, is that you? <laughs> El Chapo? Good. I'm glad you didn't. How long have you been going together? 
Ten years. Ten years? So when the cat kicks it, what, you're out the door? <laughs> like, we're just wasting fucking time now, okay? We're, we lost the dread. I tried to milk something out of this, and it's, it's such a pathetic situation. Poor guy. He just wants to play his ukulele and harmonica and pet a cat. Is that, it's, it's a fucking free world, right? Is that not why we are fighting for the freedom for a man to play a fucking ukulele in the subway? I don't know. We have a war on terror in America. Brits, much more easygoing. Just, well, now and then things are terrifying. That's it, you deal with it, because you've been terrified for thousands of years. See how I quickly got out of this whole harp thing into something about terror? <laughs> Smooth as fucking farting through silk, me. <laughs> this has nothing to do with harps or ukuleles. No, but I gotta move on. Because some of you have jobs to go to tomorrow. <laughs> some of you. 